Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna get some sleep tomorrow with that and I shall, uh, oh, that looks a bit rude. A little life hack from me to you, from a lily lover to a lover. Um, Duck feet um, for breakfast. Mrs. Professional just been bombing on the plane. me again welcome back to X Media X and another weekly vlog so it's actually Wednesday today you haven't missed much I'm afraid on Monday and Tuesday I've just been typing up blog posts there's loads of awesome content over on the blog at the moment um so if you're into blogs and you like reading come on over check it out xmediarex.com um but yeah I've just been kind of working on a load of projects over there which has been nice they're all kind of um different sort of projects so um yeah it's been good to get the variety but I'm afraid <laughs> It's just been me typing around my laptop with this little man causing havoc as usual. So, um, mum and dad are coming up today. Very excited to see them. Um, and then we're gonna go to Pet's home, maybe take Toby for a little walk, have some lunch. Um, and then I'm just gonna get cracking on with other stuff. I've got my press trip on Saturday, um, which I still don't think I've told you where I'm going. So, um, I'm actually going to Bangkok, which is really exciting. Toby, don't eat that. Um, because uh, I've, I've only ever been to Thailand once, that was last year in Krabi and I really want to see more of, of Thailand so I got invited over by the tourist board for a wellness and food trip which is right up my street um, and I said yes because Toby can be left now <sighs> it'd be nice to get a little bit of a break actually Toby can now be left um, and I feel like I'm able to start taking these things on again. So yeah, I'm really excited. So this week is pretty much planning for that, getting stuff scheduled for while I'm away and getting everything ready. So I'm gonna bring you along with me, I think this time. And we're gonna do a little behind the scenes, gonna do just a weekly vlog, but as I go to Bangkok. So I thought that might be quite interesting for you. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get ready. Finish getting ready. I've done washing up today. I've put some washing on, hung some washing out. I am a domestic goddess currently. And uh, mum and dad are about 10 minutes away, so I'm gonna pop the kettle on. That was so lovely seeing mum and dad. They are naughty though. Every time they come over, they spoil <laughs> Toby rotten. So he's got a brand new raincoat. Let me just show you his coat. It's absolutely adorable. I was gonna get him one anyway. I kind of, I wanted to get him a barber one, but they're just horrendous price. And I can't even afford my own barber jacket, let alone a barber jacket for my dog. Uh, but I am one of those people that probably would spend it on Chris one for Christmas. But this is his new jacket. It looks very, very snazzy for when it's raining. Um, and then mum got him these little blankets and she's put a name on it so it says Toby on them and there's this one and a grey one so he's sleeping with the grey one I'm gonna take that one if we go to like the pub or anything and he can just like settle down on there and he got loads of new treats and charcoal biscuits and yeah he's just been spoiled rotten <laughs> but um yeah we had a lovely afternoon we had lunch in a pub and he sat at our feet and chewed on his little um treat and was good as gold so that's really made me feel very very happy and um, yeah, it's just been a lovely afternoon, a lovely few hours with the parents. So I'm gonna crack on with a little bit of work um, and then I'm gonna head over to Chris's because I'm going over there for tea. And yeah, I'm kind of hoping it rains now because I want to pop him in his little rain jacket. Go play with Archie, go on. Hello boys. Oh, you're both mad. Lots of veggies. This is a bottle of wine that dad gave me today it's absolutely incredible i don't know if i mentioned it in the last vlog or not if i didn't here it is if i did then here it is again it's unbelievable i think he got it from the majestic wine warehouse and i think it's like six pounds a bottle at the moment it's just so nice if you like argentinian malbec or spanish rioja this is the red wine for you Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. It's very early in the morning and you're looking at the face of a lady who was up at 4am <laughs> cleaning up dog poop. So um, yeah, brilliant start to my day. So uh, yeah, I, I just could not, I could not get back to sleep after I woke up to uh, deal with um, the pupster. I was just kind of like dozing on and off and then I just finally gave up and thought I've got to go up. Um, but my plan for today was to head home super early and miss the traffic but because I was dozing trying to like get some sleep back I've now woken up pretty much in the midst of rush hour so I'm sitting down having a cup of tea in my nice little mug that uh, Chris bought me from Tesco I think it was but this is my mug for his house and I feel very special <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sitting down having a cup of tea and going through my emails, cracking on with everything, and then I'll get showered and get ready and then head home probably um, 
mid-morning because Chris has got a delivery coming in so he's like can you stay and wait for that for me so I'll probably crack on with my admin wait for his parcel and then head home then so yeah my day's been changed around by a big pile of poop uh, excuse me are you chewing daddy's slipper well, he doesn't watch these vlogs so it's okay we won't tell him <laughs> Well, so much for missing the traffic. It seems like traffic is just constant on the motorways at the moment. Um, managed to get the parcel for Archie's food. It arrived like uh, half an hour earlier than it said it was going to. And I literally just got in the shower, so I had to run downstairs in my towel to answer the door to the, to the delivery guy in my towel and just as i did that uh chris's next door neighbor pulled up as well so i was just like hi hi everybody yeah um i do have a job i'm not just you know getting in the shower at midday because i'm doing nothing with my life so i just got back just doing a bit of tidying up um and i've had to take the lilies out that chris bought me two weeks ago they've done so well and they filled the entire flat they were beautiful um but one of them got me with these little pollen so this is a really cool little life hack get sellotape and gently press it on where the pollen is to pick it up don't ever rub pollen if you ever get it on you from lilies because it will just smear everywhere um but if you use sellotape to pick it up it doesn't smudge and it gets off straight away it's a really really clever tip um for clothes and also um furniture or carpets or anything so yeah there you go a little life hack from me to you from a lily lover to a lover oh no it's the hoover it's the hoover it's not even on yet you silly you silly baby <laughs> Just finished filming a Q and A, and it was really nice actually. I've literally just put everything away, but I had all my fairy lights on and candles on, and yeah, it was lovely. It was really nice to sit back on that little sofa. Um, I was using a new lens though, so I hope, hope it's all come out. But um, I'm gonna sit down and edit it now, and um, hopefully you guys will like watching that next week. I've been very brave and bought my big fluffy rug back upstairs and taken away the. Um, the guard for around here so we shall see how long it all lasts before somebody starts chewing as long as you don't wheel on the rug i'll be happy hmm yo 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 so it is currently half past nine and i didn't vlog anything from my night with tracy um i just really enjoyed catching up with her to be honest the last time i saw her was probably over a month ago and it's funny because i sort of like caught her up with everything that's been going on and she said the last time I saw you I just knew that you weren't you and there was something wrong um so yeah it's just it's really nice oh still got my next son um it's just it's just really nice to to see her and feel like me again it's just it's odd I feel like literally like I've been living under a rock for months and I'm just finally getting my life back it's just it's lovely so we had really cheap pizza and chips from my freezer and she brought around a bottle of wine and we just had a couple of glasses together and she met Toby for the first time and yeah it was just lovely really breakfast your lordship go on then <laughs> that was a big yawn <laughs> good morning everybody not sure if I mentioned it or not but I'm really tired. It's Friday today. I go away tomorrow. I've got so much to do today. I've written a little schedule of how I'm going to keep on track. Um, but first, I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm out of the house bright and early to go and see the doctor and have a bit of a catch up about how I've been getting on on my tablets and um, to get some more. Uh, I can't believe it's nearly been a month. Yeah, because it'll be a month next week. So I, will, I run out while I'm away. So I've just got to make sure I see her and don't have a break or don't run out. Um, yeah, so I'm heading over there. I'm having a bit of a dilemma with a parcel, actually. A bit of a nightmare. I've ordered a new sleeping travel pillow. I can't remember if I told you. Um, it arrived, got delivered to my neighbour. Went to go and see my neighbour yesterday to see if she'd got it. And she was like, oh yeah, that's my name that's on the card, but I didn't sign for it. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, she said, uh, yeah, probably my son, but I don't know where he's put it. I'll let you know and I'll bring it around. And she just seemed so stressed and so like, I don't know, so sort of 
stressy about it. I didn't want to say, oh yeah, well, I, 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 de I desperately need it like tomorrow because if I don't get it before 4 p.m. tomorrow, um, I'm stuffed. So yeah, I'm about to go round and see if she's in. Oh, that's my alarm. <laughs> The neighbour is not in, so I've just spent 15 quid of my hard-earned business expense money on a pillow that I can't even bloody use. Brilliant. I'm gonna try later, maybe at lunchtime, see if uh, one last ditch attempt, but for God's sake. <laughs> ah, well, that was a nice session at the doctor's, I guess. Um, she asked me how I was getting on, I said really well, the sickness has gone now, so she's been good, so she gave me another two months and um yeah and i asked her whether sleeping tablets will interact with it she said no so i've got myself some sleeping tablets for the plane so i can actually get some sleep on the second leg leg seen as my neighbors seem to have stolen my j pillow so it's so frustrating because i really don't like have a lot of money so i really um denied as to whether i should spend some of like my business expenses on this pillow and i did and now this bloody parcels i don't have much luck do i considering that i'm at home most of the time i don't seem to have much luck with actually getting parcels <laughs> time for a cup of tea and a little puppy cuddle and then i'm going to paint my nails and my toes ready for tomorrow nails and matching toes all done ready for uh bangkok do you like mummy's nails why don't you care toby oh my goodness all the doggies <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the best day ever! <laughs> Toby is loving life. Come on, Otto. Sure <laughs> you having a swim? Are you going in, Toby? He says, no, it's too cold. I'm not sure about this. Come on, look, let's go in. Come on. Can we have a swim? <laughs> I know, having too much fun out here. Oh, chilly. <laughs> that was so fun but it took a lot longer than expected so now i am on a super quick packing mission i need to go and wash my hair at some point as well i have to do that when i get to chris's house packing mission feed the dog whiz over to chris's wash hair put some makeup on out for a curry go so beside the fact that i had an absolute nightmare uh before i left the house literally just got everything packed and then uh toby decided to poop on my bedroom floor which is absolutely awful had to get the carpet cleaner out and then it may be late anyway but Chris has saved the day he managed to find um, a J pillow in Lakeland so I can sleep on the plane it's actually really comfortable I was really worried that after all of this it would just be rubbish but hopefully I'm gonna get some sleep tomorrow with that and I shall uh, oh that looks a bit rude um I shall report back on whether I actually managed to sleep with it so we are heading out for a friend's surprise birthday party this evening. We're gonna go for a nice curry, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, I'm currently just charging all of my camera batteries and my Kindle and my notebook and everything ready for tomorrow. I'm not dropping off Toby now until the morning, which is really nice. Cause that means when we get back from the curry, I can have a nice little cuddle with him on the sofa um, before I take him in the morning to go and stay with Wendy. I feel like really emotional about dropping him off. So I'm happy I get one more night with him. But yeah, I'm looking forward to a night with some friends. I'm not gonna take my camera cause I'm just gonna enjoy it and only one of them knows that I vlog, so I would be a massive weirdo getting a camera out. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Oh, pop it, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you, you've been so lovely this morning, even though you've got raindrops on your head. Or is that tea from where you jumped on me and spilled it all over mummy? You've been so cuddly, I don't want to leave you. I don't. Don't chew mummy's jumper though. You gonna go see Wendy? You're gonna go and see Wendy. Have a look at that little tail. You're gonna go see Wendy. Have some fun with Wendy. Say bye to Archie. Say bye bye, Archie. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. I am. Oh, Bob, it. Come on then. Let's get your suitcase. Oh. That was really hard leaving Chris and Toby, but um, I'm through security, so I'm just gonna head through into the terminal. I think I've got about half an hour before we start to board, apparently, and flying with Qatar today. Um, and apparently my seats are pretty good as well in economy. Got me J pillow, so I am ready to roll. And it looks like they've got quite a few good films on, so I think I've got seven hours, then an hour change in Doha, and then another seven hours. So yeah, really looking forward to the flight, actually. So let's see what happens. Half 
10 in the UK, half midnight in Qatar. Just landed in Qatar. And we've got about an hour before my next flight and then it's another seven hours to Bangkok. Been good so far. The first seven hours was, was good. So uh, yeah, just gotta find my way to the next gate. I watched an amazing film on the plane called The Circle. It only came out this year and it's got Emma Watson and Tom Hanks. A bit random and Edward Norton. Um, but it was really, really good. So anybody who vlogs, I uh, implore you to watch this film. It was like, well the film itself was a little bit disjointed, but the message behind it was so prevalent that it really sort of hit home. Um, so yeah, definitely watch that. Well, that wasn't the best second leg of a flight I've ever had. Um, I managed to faint halfway through and was sick everywhere. That used to happen to me a lot on flights. I used to get altitude sickness really badly, um, but it hasn't happened for many, many years. Um, I don't know why it happened today, but yeah, that was nice and embarrassing. Luckily the flight attendants were so kind and they looked after me the whole way. Um, yeah, I just feel horrendous and I look so pale. <laughs> I've just seen myself in the viewfinder. Yeah, so not great, but um, we, we survived and it's fine. And the J pillow has already paid for itself. It's so damn comfortable. So at least I managed to get about six hours sleep. So yeah, I'm just off to collect my baggage and then I'm gonna be picked up by someone at the airport. And then it's straight into the day. It's about half past six at home and it's half past 12 here in Bangkok in the afternoon. So yeah, no rest for the wicked, just straight on with the trip. to the hotel we're staying in the Anantara Siam Bangkok and it's absolutely beautiful this is my room it's got a lovely king-size bed big um, bathroom through there and I've got a little fish look at this he's so cute actually got a little pet how adorable is that? Um, so it is currently half past two. We've literally just got in. I'm waiting for my luggage to come up. Um, and then we have a massage booked at 3 p.m. So I've got about 20 minutes. I think that might be my luggage now. So yeah, we've got about 20 minutes now just to, well not freshen up because we're going for a spa treatment, but just to chill. And I'm not gonna bother unpacking because I think we're moving tomorrow maybe or the day after. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. I still feel so, so sick, really sick and quite just sort of like shaky after it all. Oh, it's been a while since I've been sick. It's not nice, is it? Um, but yeah, not pleasant at all. Anyway, so I haven't met any of the other, I've met two of the Polish journalists, and I think there's 20 of us in total, uh, three of the bloggers from the UK. So they all arrived earlier, and I guess I'll meet them later for dinner. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy my massage. Gonna ask her to just be gentle with me, I think, today. And um, yeah, come back, maybe have an hour's nap, and then straight down for dinner to meet everybody. Actually, no nap, gotta wash my hair. That was heaven. Oh my goodness, she was so good. And I just feel amazing. I didn't go for like a super deep massage, which I normally do. I thought I'd be a bit gentle on my body today after what it's been through on the plane. And it's just it sorted me right out. She was so lovely. And then they gave me a lovely ginger tea afterwards, which has really, really helped calm my stomach. So yeah, got about an hour. Uh, maybe even an hour and a half, which is very rare on press trips, as you will see, um, to get ready for dinner. I think everybody else is at the pool, but I really could just do with a bath and eating a little bar of chocolate just to get my sugars back up and washing my hair and just chilling before I, it sounds really bad before I face everybody later, but before I, ha I have to be presentable and be like, hello, I'm Mrs. Professional, just been bombing on the plane. Ah, I feel so much better now I've had my bath and washed my hair and I even scored because my charges that I bought were the European ones and they take the European charges over here because I really wasn't sure. I couldn't remember what I did last time I was in Thailand and I, I was sure I've got stuff that worked but I couldn't figure out which ones it was the European ones work so I could even use my straighteners. Feeling good. I've got a little, just got a little tea dress on and a little um, cardi tonight. Never know like what to wear. I don't know what anybody else is going to be wearing 
going. I don't know how posh it is downstairs. So yeah, just airing on the side of caution with something that's semi-smart. And uh, yeah, nearly time to go and meet everybody actually. It's 20 past six, so I'll head down in about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna sit here. They've got the chase. <laughs> <laughs> they've got ITV so I was just sitting watching the chase for a little bit and enjoying some time to myself feeling a lot better now a lot brighter still don't feel 100% but I could definitely eat which is a good thing because I bloody love Thai food it will never be the same as anywhere else I promise you that much dinner was lovely it wasn't um Thai food I think the hotel just kind of wanted to showcase what they can do international food wise so we had things like steak tartare and pheasant and uh, lobster bisque and it was all exquisite but not very Thai so I'm hoping that tomorrow from tomorrow onwards there's no way I can do this with one hand uh, from tomorrow onwards we will get some proper Thai food in fact we're going on a walking food tour tomorrow so really excited about that and the group's lovely there's loads of us so um you have people from Spain Italy Poland um sweden and israel and the uk so yeah everyone seems really nice just sort of getting into the swing of things and getting to know each other and trying to remember each one's name um but yeah it's a really nice group it's a lovely group i think we're gonna have a lovely week together night night little fishy what should we call you can you think of a name for you because you're adorable you're my little buddy for the next few days night night <laughs> good morning everybody it's 8 a.m um, they've actually given us a bit of a lie in today, which is nice. They normally get you quite, get you up quite early on press trips, but I think it's because of the jet lag. They wanted to make sure everyone got some sleep. Um, yeah, I feel like I could continue to sleep for days. I was so jet lagged, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the day. So we're leaving in half an hour. We're going straight on a food tour, so I kind of decided to skip breakfast because I, I thought we're going to be eating quite a lot anyway. And it gave me an extra half an hour in bed. Terrible for that. So we've just been on the Sky Train from our hotel um, to downtown Bangkok. And now we're off on our walking food tour. It smells incredible already. I think I did a good thing by missing breakfast because like, I want to eat everything. It is so hot. Like the humidity is ridiculous. This hair is going to last about five minutes down. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. This food is like a very step influence from China. Duck feet for breakfast. We're trying duck feet. It's crispy pork belly, and I just had one. It's nice. Really fatty, but nice. You like it? It seems so strange to have. A beautiful Buddhist temple right in the middle of the city. It's gorgeous. From there, at the front of the building, I never seem to have enough hands on press trips. I've got my big SLR, my phone, this camera, water. But well, you can't keep taking it in and out of a backpack. I need a personal assistant, really. Should I just start paying Chris to come along with me and just to carry all my stuff? Safety first, with all the wiring in Bangkok. <laughs> Actually, maybe just to... So we've just tried, well how do you say it? Uh, loti. 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 Banana, stop it. Banana loti. Yeah, banana um, which loti. is like um, an Indian roti, stuffed with eggs, banana and then condensed fried and then condensed milk and sugar on top it's amazing so this is like a little custard bun it's really sticky and the custard is green because it comes from a leaf and that is thai tea with condensed milk um not my favorite thing we tried today i will admit so now we've eaten all our lovely food, we're off for another massage. I haven't had one of those in a while. Um, and this time I think we're doing a jade remedy. Uh, and we're also learning how to make our own body scrub. So nice. I could definitely get used to this. 
Well, that was quite incredible. I feel like she put me under a spell. I've never had a two hour massage before, but I could definitely get used to that. And she did this with my hair. And I've got no idea how she's done it. Feels really secure as well. I'm gonna have to ask her for some beauty tips. Anyway, we're just gonna go into a DIY body scrub workshop and make our own body scrubs. Shop going to try. So DIY fresh body scrub, like we use in the spa. If the customer come, they shoot the spa treatment. Some spa, they have to shoot the scrub too. Oh. <laughs> Back in the room, it's quarter to six and we have got 15 minutes to get ready for dinner and then get back out the door. Welcome to a breast trip. Um, I haven't got time for a shower. I've still got all these lovely massage oils all over me, so I kind of want to keep those on. Um, yeah, I think I might just put some trousers on because I've got bruises all over my legs and I just feel a bit of a frump in these shorts. Hello, fishy. Have you had a nice day? Looks very fancy. Food bloggers behind the scenes. There is so much food, there is not enough room on the table. Oh my goodness. Well that dinner was absolutely unbelievable. We went to Paste, which is one of the best restaurants in Bangkok. And oh my goodness, it was just incredible. Like proper artisan, kind of like delicate Thai food. It was just amazing can't even begin to tell you um so yeah i had a really lovely night we had some vips join us for dinner so we're all on top form and uh yeah just lovely lovely end to a lovely day so i have got to pack up that mess <laughs> because we uh have a 6 a.m start tomorrow so yeah it's about nine o'clock now so it's not too late i'm gonna pack up all my stuff lay out my clothes for tomorrow so i can just roll out of bed into the shower quick breakfast and then out but I shall see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, 6 a.m. starts are not my friend, especially with these eye bags and jet lag. Um, but I've just checked out my room. I'm just gonna grab a quick breakfast because I've got like five minutes to grab something and go. And then we're on the road. So they made me a lovely little soya latte to go and I grabbed a banana and some pastries. So um, yeah, we just wait for the last two people to come down. There's always one or two. Uh, and then we're gonna head off to our next destination. I think we're going to the railway market today and we're gonna do a ceramic workshop, which will be really fun. So I'm excited for the day because yesterday was awesome. So let's see more of Bangkok. <laughs> So we're just off to our first workshop of the day, which is a ceramic painting workshop. And there's a random cat somewhere. Oh my God, it's massive. Hello. Ta-da. Well, I feel like this is going in the shop and they could sell this for a million bar. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was so much fun. It was really relaxing, actually. I'm not sure whether my mug was any good, um, but they're going to post it to us later, apparently. So it'll be at the hotel when we get there um, this evening. So now we are off to the railway market uh, and it's absolutely glorious today. We should put some sun cream on. So here we are at the railway market and there's the train right over there. Now this comes through about six times a day. But as you can see, everybody has set up their stalls along the tracks. So basically they have to pack everything up when the train goes through and then quickly get everything out again about six times a day. It's really interesting. I'm on the hunt for some more elephant pants because they're just the most comfortable thing in the world and some curry paste as well. So there's literally everything here from like spices, fruits and vegetables, clothes to fish. It's um, fragrant to say the least. So all the sellers are set up here on the railway tracks because inside the market you have to pay. So you don't have to pay here and they've literally just set their stalls up so they can sell everything and make a bit more profit. Apart from the um, possible death by train, I feel like it's a pretty savvy business move. <laughs> so the train is on its way and everybody is starting to pull back their canopies so they can get out of the way. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The train is so close. So close. And now everybody's putting their stuff back out. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's very cheap here. It's so hot today. I'm literally like a little beetroot. Oh, cold town. It was like 36, 37 yesterday. It's hotter today, I swear. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, look at lunch. The smell is going into this. This Thai dessert. Which is like a rice bowl coated in sesame And it tastes like a camp. And then you put that inside of the It's interesting. I think I'd actually rather eat duck feet again than eat one of those candle ball things. Interesting taste. So we're now at the Ampawa Conservation Project where they do loads of stuff to help the sustainability of the environment. And I think we're going to be making our own herbal balms, seeing where they get the palm sugar from. It's absolutely beautiful here, but it's very, very hot. Under 25 degrees. This is an earthworm nursery. I wonder if Jim's in there. By, by adding so we made our balm which smells a bit like Vix um, but it's meant to be really good for bruising and headaches and nausea so that'll be really good if I feel sick on the plane on the way home uh, and we've just made an amazing drink it's like a tonic uh, with lemongrass butterfly pea, uh, sugar syrup, lime and mint and it was absolutely amazing. I kind of feel like I want to experiment with it at home and maybe add some gin to it and turn it into a bit of a cocktail or a, a good for you cocktail shall we say. So uh, yeah, very very exciting afternoon I have to say. I love the fact that we keep getting secret snacks and we don't know what the hell is in them. <laughs> So we've just been learning about how they candy lots of fruits and uh, roots and stuff. We tried this like form of cactus that was really, really bitter when it was raw, but after they'd cooked it and boiled it, it was super sweet, which was interesting. Um, and now we're heading off to our resort and there is a rumor about a pool, which I'm very excited for. I'm just gonna jump straight in. <laughs> who just arrived at the hotel and they've told us that we've got another massage which is really good looking forward to this that was nice a little random um 10 minute back neck and shoulder massage and now we've just checked into our rooms which are adorable by the way they're like look little cabins slash tree houses it's really strange don't know if i can show you outside see it's really cute, it reminds me of the little lodges that we stayed in in Wakatobi in Indonesia last year. They were right on the beach and they were very basic, whereas these look quite fancy. So we're staying here for tonight and then we're moving on tomorrow. So what time is it now? Let's have a quick look. It's 20 to six and we have dinner at seven. So that gives me just enough time to go and investigate the pool for a little while and then maybe even wash my hair. What a treat. <laughs> It's very rare that you actually get more than an hour to yourself on a press trip, so yeah, this is pretty good free time. Just about made it, even though my hair is half wet still at the back, but that's fine because it'll be dry in about five minutes anyway. <laughs> um, this is one of the items I bought from the railway market today. So it's um, a pair of harem pants, or you can, <laughs> that was rather attractive, wasn't it? Or you can pull it up and wear it as a jumpsuit. So I've gone with the jumpsuit because I couldn't be bothered to uh, find something that would go with it on the top half. This is a very creased old blanket scarf that I got in Mykonos last year and these sandals are from Primark and I wear them all the time. I feel like it makes me look a little bit dumpy this outfit but it's so incredibly comfortable I don't even care and it's not really a fancy super dressed up restaurant tonight so it's fine. Touched up my makeup and I'm ready to go so yeah whirlwind hour but we got there in the end. The resort's really pretty at night time goodness me. It's so hot and humid that my camera's steaming up. It's like seven o'clock at night. <laughs> that was the quickest dinner ever. It's like half past eight and we're back in our rooms and I am absolutely knackered. I feel like a grandma <laughs> getting tired so early at night, but we've uh, had a long day and we've done so much as always. So I'm gonna pop all of my cameras on charge. Um, I think I'm probably gonna maybe try and FaceTime Chris and then bedtime. So I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. 
Und äh, Hormon, Besties. Oh mein Gott. Was ist das? 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 Was ist